Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan. I'm here with a get ready with me. This is just my morning skincare and daily kind of makeup routine. I start out every morning with a shower. I washed my hair this morning with the Murad shampoo and conditioner, the Nourishing Healthy Hair line. And then I moved on to wash my body with the English Laundry 3-in-1 shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I just used this on my Sonia Kashuk Puff to wash my body. I have a full review of this product on my channel that will be linked on screen and below. Because I'm lazy in the morning, I like to exfoliate and cleanse my face at the same time, so I just mix together the Philosophy Purity Face Wash and the Clinique Face Scrub. Mixing these two together is a great prep for shaving. Today's not a day that I shaved, I usually switch off between washing my hair and shaving my face, but were I to shave, I would have used these two products. This is the Gillette Fusion Mach 3, I believe, and the Evolution Man Cleanse and Shave. This is just a sample I got from Birchbox. The first thing I do when I get out of the shower is put on deodorant so I do not forget, and then I move right on to my skincare. I start by applying a little bit of toner with a cotton pad on my skin. This is the Clinique Men's Scruffing Lotion in 2.5. This is for normal to dry skin, and I just apply this all over in a sweeping motion just to make sure everything is nice and clean. Had I shaved today, I would just apply a little bit of the Clinique Post Shave Healer to make sure I don't get any razor bumps. To moisturize my skin, I usually use the M Lotion. Today I mixed a little bit of the Non Streak Bronzer in with that as well to add a little bit of color to my skin before I go ahead and apply my makeup. I just mix these two together in my hands and apply them to my face, making sure to really blend in all of the nooks and crannies and definitely down the neck. When you use a gel bronzer like this, taking it down the neck is one of the easiest ways to make sure it's going to look very natural as opposed to looking like you have a bunch of bronzer on your face. Lastly, for skincare, I just use a little bit of the Anti-Fatigue Cooling Eye Gel under my eyes. I really like this in the daytime rather than a heavy eye cream because it really helps to make my makeup stick around better rather than sliding down my face. I just pat this in after rolling it on just to make sure it's all absorbed. To give my skincare a minute to soak in, I move on to hair. I just use a little bit of the Murad Serum that goes along with the shampoo and conditioner. I apply this to my scalp with the dropper and then I just use my fingertips to kind of rub everything in and make sure it's all evenly applied. To moisturize my skin as well as make sure my arms match my face, I'm using a little bit of the Ulta Tinted Self Tanning Sunscreen Lotion. This has an SPF of 15 which is awesome for the springtime because your arms are showing a little bit more as well as giving you that little bit of color. Now that my skincare has had a moment to soak in, I like to prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer in light. This is my favorite primer now. I'm just applying this mainly to the T-zone and then blending outwards just to make sure it's a light layer everywhere. And then I go on to my BB cream. Today I'm using the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB, which I've talked about in a favorites video and an empties video before. I'm just applying this with my fingertips and blending that out with my hands, not using any kind of brush or anything because I'm lazy on a day-to-day -day basis. To conceal today, I'm using my favorite Maybelline Fit Me Concealer shade 10. I'm just applying this under my eyes, around my nose, and on any blemishes or anywhere else I just need a little bit more coverage. And now I just kind of blend everything in with my finger using a tapping motion to create more coverage and not just smearing it around. And then I like to go around my eyes with a brush to make sure everything is just extra smooth. To lock the skin into place, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Pure Minerals Miracle Mist. Just spritz that over my skin and let it dry. And for cheeks today, I'm using the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelay. I promised someone I would use this in a tutorial and here it is. I'm just applying this with my fingertips and then blending it out with the Real Technique stippling brush. This technique allows me to build the coverage without the commitment to a bold cheek. I don't normally wear powder on a day-to-day -day basis, but since I was filming today, I just used a little bit of the ambient lighting powder from Hourglass in dim light with the Real Techniques retractable bronzer brush and just swept this all over the skin, keeping it rather natural, not packing it on. To bronze up the skin even further, I'm just using the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze with the 
Real Techniques Multitask Brush, and I'm just really sweeping this around the temples and the perimeter of the face just to make sure everything is nice and warm and further blending out the neck. Now that the skin is done, I'm just going to pop a little bit of EOS on. This is the Lemon one. I love this one because it's SPF 15. For my brows, I'm starting with the NYX Nude Matte Shadow in Bare My Soul with just a little Anastasia angled brush. I'm keeping the brows pretty natural today, just filling them in with their natural shape and keeping it pretty soft. I don't really need a bold brow today because I'm not really doing anything special. And I'm just making sure they're all even and filled in the way I like. Even on days when I keep my makeup pretty natural like today, I like to use something soft to fill in my brows. I always end up filling in my brows because I just think I look a little bit more polished and put together when they're on. Now I'm just taking a step back to make sure they're even, and once I'm happy with the shape, I just use a little bit of the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Caramel to set those in all day. Using the same product in a different color, this is the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Espresso. I just apply this to my lashes like mascara very naturally, not building them up, just keeping it natural. Throwing a sheer wash of color on the lips, this is the Bare Minerals Loud and Clear in Tangerine Trance. Just putting this on like lip balm because that's what it is. Finally, putting some hair product in. This is the American Crew Alternator Spray. This is a product I sampled through Birchbox and loved it. So immediately upon finishing that up, I bought the full size. I'm just spritzing this in and working it in with my fingers. Just kind of going for my everyday messy hair. Once I kind of get my hair into a general shape, I decided that I wanted a little bit more volume, so I applied a little bit on my fingers and kind of just worked that in to the crown, kind of massaging it the hair upward and then messing it back up and re-fluffing it into the same exact shape. It doesn't look different at all, but I guess it made me feel better about it. After washing my hands, the last thing I do before I leave or do whatever I'm doing that day is apply a little bit of fragrance. This is the David Beckham Signature Fragrance. I love this. You can see I'm using it up. I just spritz it on my wrists and on my neck and out the door. Like I said, I was getting ready to film today. So here I am filming. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like my video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Instagram and Twitter. Both are at JohnJohnTalks. I'll see you next time. Bye!